Four, three, two, one. Listen, we already late. 
that? I'm driving a bug and speeding, which might have been about five. <laughs> right. Normally he's ten. I agree he's eight and ten and above when it's something he wants. <laughs> Y'all men understand that. Huh? Ain't that right, bro? Right, right. So you just slide on where you gotta go. When you finally turn me in, and I could have put my foot on that speed pedal, I'd have mashed us in here and ended up in the doorway running over Jay and, and him. <laughs> But I know the Lord is good. We all we get we don't get mad. We, we so season now to what 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 used to make us mad. And what used to yank our nerves. We got so we go eat about. <laughs> y'all can't say that later. The more you say marriage, the more you understand the edibles of having fun, eating dinner, supper, midday, during the day, snacks at night, eating at night. Looking at a movie during the day is just the game to be fun. So my life is full of fun. I'm going to say it again. My life is full of fun. I make me happy. I make me happy. Y'all know the song say you ain't got to like me. I know y'all trust me, but Lord, Lord, ain't me Pretty much a lot of good cussing in there. But anywho, we don't leave the cussing off. We just like I said, I'm not going to talk to you. The Holy Ghost said the same. We want to say good morning and bless all of you. I have arrived. We are finally out of church. I want to thank God for all of our leaders, saints, and friends for all of um, the pastors, Miss Harvey, and her presence here this morning, and her husband, and Nate, we appreciate you all. Uh, Chief Property, so the house, Pastor Robert Jackson, appreciate you so much. So my husband, praise God, Bishop Marvell. Just as we testified yesterday, if you don't like uh, the dress and colors of light, he asked me this morning, put your yellow and red on. Just in case we do have a falling out, we don't wear the same color. You know we mad. We more mad than usual. So I told myself, so okay, we gonna dress up. But if I shot, you gonna have to shot. You gotta show the colors. Cause I'm a dancer. I want to talk to you, Amen. This one, I know y'all won't have nothing to laugh about, but I'm happy to be alive. Amen. I want to talk to you about Amen. Praise God. We talk about mothers and elders, saints, and friends. We want to thank and welcome those of you. Amen. Praise God. Here we want to welcome our guests, Amen. welcome our families. Amen. Amen. Welcome each and every one of you. We love you and appreciate you so much for being a part of Women International Ministries. Amen. Amen. This morning, and we love you for your time. In the book of Corinthians 8 and 2nd chapter 12 and 9. 2nd Corinthians 12 and 9. If you would rest, amen, upon your feet, if you would get upon your feet, let's read the scripture, amen, and you may be seated once we are done. In the book of 2nd Corinthians 12 and 9, it says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmities that, amen, the power of Christ may rest upon me. You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you for the word of the Lord. We thank you, God, for what you will do, how you will bless, how you will intervene, and how you will deliver. We thank you for a people, God, and amen, come out, amen, that they might be fed, amen, for your glory. We thank you, God, for the amen, hallelujah, for a blessing that will be upon your people. We thank you this morning, hallelujah, for the word. Now, say that you are defeated. This word will go forward. You will not ever delay or set back anything. We call things that be not as though they were. We call on the power for the name of Jesus. Preach, Holy Ghost. Shake us like a rock. Shake us like a Amen. 
Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very humble. I love people. I do. I really do. I really do. But it comes a time, I'm telling y'all, y'all can run up on a possum shell. But if you ever run up on five three, I'm a five three. I'm going to keep a mock me. We'll be on chips. It's because I push you at push you out at seven feet don't mean you got the right to come up on the <laughs> But anywho, anywho, y'all I laugh and I preach out. Oh because sometimes you have to fuck your wrong kids in the mouth for the wrong you are. Amen. Always ask the question, I'm wrong, why I can't say this and can't, mm. can't say that? Because I'm your mom. There you go. Say it with your bro. And him here because. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And those, and to those of you this morning that are wondering about your, in your impossible miracle, your impossible wonders and signs. I have great news. God does not count how many times He's given you a miracle. All right. All right. He doesn't count your sins. All right. How many houses you have, cars you have, spiritual battles you've been into, how many welfares you have won, how many amen people hate you. He said, I don't count. He said, I don't even count how many you hate. How you treat people. And how you really don't serve God. I don't count that. He just moves at his own commands. Y'all ready to hear this? In his own timing. Amen. Look at your neighbor, says it's a time. It's a time. And God began, amen, to speak this out, commanding my word to act upon what you need. So your neighbor says, it's going to be what I need that God is going to act upon. It's what I need. The God that you serve is a miracle working God. In the beginning, God, amen. Listen to the story. Listen to the story. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That was, that was amen, praise God. That was nothing here on earth to look at. He said, I created the heavens and the earth. That was nothing here to look at and to be admired, amen, until God spoke it into existence. When God speaks into your situation, he will create whatever he needs to hasten and perform what he said. That word, amen, praise God, will not return to God, boy. The word, amen, works. I want you to tell your neighbor, as your neighbor, the word works. The, word works. the God that you make, my God, that does not count. I want to preach to you this morning about the God that does not count. God that does not count. What do you think? This is a blessing. He ain't counting up on me. God keep counting on some of us. My God. Look at my look, look around and say, look how many times my wife and my husband done counted and told me, Ooh, you do it again. Do it, do it again. Do, do it again. Do it again, Fred. I'm mighty quiet, bro. I'm the same. It's a rage come up in that when I said don't do it again. Keep looking this way, bro. I got y'all. I got y'all. I meant don't. Don't. Come in the house. Don't, don't start. Not today. You know, get up. Get your cheering. Take them anywhere, but I'm not, not today. I know I'm talking good to somebody, not, not today. Y'all no, no, ain't got to help me. Preach, I'm going to preach this by myself. Because many times we don't want to admit the fact. We tell folk what we want them to know. But we don't ever ask God, did you mark this down how many times I cussed Fred out? And Fred walked out the door and didn't say nothing. But Fred had it in his mind. Had Fred ever turned around and took a small action? I hear you sisters. Mm -hmm. You need that. <laughs> my dad never hit me. You need anybody, but don't you? My dad. 
That's the first thing coming out of the of mine. My daddy don't hit me. Going like loose. Nobody's gonna take a swing. What? You gotta pack your clothes and go back off your mom. And then if you get too deep in your five you gotta go back to your mammy. Keep looking this way, bro. Thank God he ain't counting your mistakes. My mistakes. The word, amen, praise God. How did you say it this way? That was nothing, amen, in the earth to look at to be admired. As God spoke to nothing and made something exist. That's why I know that God is a miracle working God. How many times have you asked a wrong to God and asked? God for something, watch it, and you knew you was out of shape in your physical life with serving him, blessing him, praying to him, fasting to him, studying to him, but you still ask God, and watch this, God still granted you your desires. Yeah. That's called mercy and grace. God said you got grace on your path. God will let you. I got some grace on my path. Yes. 
Go ahead, Apostle. You see that bucket of drugs? You see that desire of lust? You see that right there? You can take that. That ain't yours, but you can take it. Ain't nobody gonna miss it. You can lie on that person there because they already been talking about it. Satan will mark his Go off heresies. You know what they say about Apostle Bill. Do you want to be in the church? Do you want to go to her church? Look at look at her church. Look at her people. Look at look look at them. And guess what? Satan will fix it. Turn around. So you'll start looking. Turn your back on God. Turn away from God. Every 
none of them. But in that past, watch this. I want you to put your hands on his shoulders up on the top. Nate, 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 Nate. You the angel in the past now. You got to have it. You got to have it. While the angel is standing there, I want you to watch this. I want you to hear me good. The angel don't do nothing, don't say nothing, but stop. Right there in the middle, right there by the needle. Stop right there by the needle. Right where the needle is, y'all stop. Now I want y'all to look at each other and act like you're fighting. What I don't want you to do is to get killed by the opponent that the enemy is trying to bring you to a place to kill you. Don't you look that way. You keep going back. Amen. Go on, the road. Look how he's fighting. Look how the enemy wants you to come back out. He wants you to taste again what got you over there in the first place. That was good walking that way. It tastes sin, tastes good while you're doing it. I'm gonna give you somebody. 
that's going to give you a laxity to work that stuff on. Gabriel, Michael, you all make this. 
in the field long. God is going to stand that with you. I got to show y'all this and I'm going to get back to my message. Go right there. The sound is coming right there. Take it up higher. Stand y'all hands up because y'all will make the very presence of God.
George Washington a white horse. Mm. I know some of y'all don't miss it, so don't be a fool. Don't break it. Open book, mouth kiss. Went down the first row. Because of, I didn't even know I was a preacher back then, because I had such a thought. And I would say stuff, and I would stand and recite stuff, and I just had that dignification about it. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Whew, I'm going to say this to the Queen of the United States of America. I'm going to say it, and I'm going to get up and I'm going to say the Declaration of Independence. I'm going to say it all. And that dang preamble. <laughs> Your terms, I want you to stand and tell me what color is George Washington Roy, white horse. Skinny <laughs> comes out with black. Oh no. Found <laughs> <laughs> by class. <laughs> Took over. We call them all kind of fools and kids. I couldn't stop laughing. So the next question was. Baby, this is something. What color was George Washington white horse? Blue. He <laughs> went from yellow, green, blue, black, and never hit white. The last thing he asked him, he said, Are you listening? I want y'all to get this. Are you listening to my instructions? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It's okay, I got it. We just shoot the head. Look at him. Is that I got it. So what is it? Oh no! <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. I can't wake you up like this, yeah. Take a rest from trouble. 
and despair and being all tense. And that's why when people ask me, even now, Prophet is denser, how you feel? I don't let my left hand know what my right hand is doing. I ain't telling you jack. Just in case you got something negative to say, I've already cut you off. Some days I don't fit into. Amen. Some days I don't let people talk to me about it. They asked me a question years ago. She said, Oh, I heard that you was divorced and married. <laughs> and I heard it too. Who told you? <laughs> she told me so funny. I said, You just asked me my business. Sometimes folks got married to ask you about it. Your life, your business. God don't count what you count for. God don't count what you count for. Well, I saw you at the liquor store, so you was at the motel. You wouldn't know about that liquor store except you didn't go by the motel. You were in. All right. All right. You 
you not know you and Kenny know that marriages are not perfect? You walk in there not knowing each other. I thought I knew and he thought he knew me. But I was a raging hell. Amen. All right, yeah. My past came into my marriage. All my baggage came with me. I had this man walked up and come here to my show. Come on, get to me. Get to me. This man did this to me the day I was trusting and partying. He said, I'm not doing it with you. My name is Lamar Dale. He said, do what you got to do and walk out the door. You not know somebody that stayed with his hair and went through hair and fought like hair with an ice. I was ready to need to go ahead and just put work about the house. Left me with nothing to offer. Ah. He said, you be back in the house about 30 minutes to wash my car. Never had nobody to wash my car. I broke out into the crying. I just hollered. He opened the door. I hollered. Now I'm opening it for myself. Except I'm crawling up in the truck. <laughs> Get in the truck, baby. <laughs> yeah. Years later, I didn't realize how much baggage I had. I didn't know how messed up I was. Until he walked up to me, he said, you are capable, but you're me. She had been saying, I, I was like, this is my old sister, but she had been saying for years that hey, me like, Look right for summer breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you live a life with somebody and they love you, teach yourself, women, how to love back. <laughs> Men, teach yourself how to be open to love back. Because you think I might not get a shirt. Now, get somebody to walk your head and go ahead and go down the side and look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Rilla! <laughs> I love you all. God said, I don't count. I, that's what we do. We do all the count. We make men sign all kinds of agreements, freedoms. If you mess up, you hurt the floor. If you mess up, you're going home. Don't come back to me, girls. <laughs> <laughs> don't come back, son. I sure don't want you. <laughs> they got the, I, ain't, I don't want you. Your baby daughter is sick. Your baby is sick. What baby? Yeah. I don't want to I love my grandchildren for life. I don't want you. <laughs> I don't want those things, you know, that I'm not coming out of on here. Because guess what he's going to do? Try to cook and show me how perfect he is with his cooking and how good it is to cook. I don't want it. Corn don't be my wine box. Who are we going to prayer? I pray I'm done. That's it. Daddy don't leave him in my arms for a second. 
Okay. Yeah, it's juicy, juicy. <laughs> <laughs> now you big, you can hold it. Don't let me lean on me now. You holding with me now? <laughs> Yeah, 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 I wish I had a 
said this time next month. Wow. Watch me fix your fire. Like you once had. 
five years ago. You had such a determination that this, that, those, and this was going to happen to my life until Satan fixed it so he could start, go off the start. That demonstration was a part of you. So while he was getting you off course, he was taking your mind for a ride. And he got you to a place of I don't care. Whatever, whatever. But God said, this is your season. And God said, I ain't counting what you get wrong. Oh! 